Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Don't let yourself fall into that trap of comparisons. Now, you might be thinking, what on earth am I going on about here? But comparing yourself can be one of the most damaging, detrimental things you can do to your mental health, your well-being and your very self. It can also exacerbate physical ailments which you're going through as well. I know because I've been there. Everybody has a different path in life. I think we can all agree on that. But when it comes to where we kind of put ourselves on the shelf of success and if we've achieved a certain something or if we are at a certain stage in our life by a certain milestone, then it starts to get blurry for a lot of people. I hear this quite often some of the people who I from some of the people who I work with and certainly from uh, brothers of mine. So it's an issue which I've come to live myself and it's an issue I've heard about. I've helped people through and here's today what I really want to talk to you about it because it can be hugely detrimental and it can just make you feel downright rotten to be quite honest and it can stop you from enjoying your life. I've helped friends through this as well. So it is a really common thing and I would I would probably say that throughout my mid-20s um, it was really it was really something which didn't necessarily bother me but it certainly was something in the back of my mind and absolutely I would say certainly did stress me so you could say yes it did bother me now let's be uh, let's break this down a little bit so in comparison so you might be thinking that and this is absolutely different for everybody. And I think that is very key to remember that everybody's journey in this life is different. We are all blessed with an opportunity. We're all blessed with a journey. And hopefully for all of us, that's a very long and healthy one. Now, for some people, in terms of health, that can be a huge controlling factor. And that's me. So I've wanted to go on and do different things on in my life. But unfortunately, my health has been the controlling factor there and it has stopped me. Then if I evaluate that back from when I was 20, 21, I was perfectly healthy, well, and done some incredible things, got to do some incredible traveling and had an amazing time. Fast forward a couple of years when I was hitting 23, 24, it all went downhill and health wise, it really did affect me. And cut it, I won't go into that in too much of effect because I have done on my channel as a lot of my subscribers will know, I've not been blessed with the greatest of health throughout my twenties. Um, but there was quite a lot of operations and it was a real horrible time. And a lot of that time I would keep doing comparisons in my head that actually, wow, I've turned 25. There's other people who are who are in relationships. They're even thinking about families. They're, they got to their high point um, and where they want to be in their career. They, they've they done their study and now they've got the job, what they've worked for. And there was that pressure almost that I was putting on myself through those undue comparisons that actually I had to be at a certain point in my life right now. And I think for all the time we're setting that bar to, to a measure of which we, we deep down know that we're not gonna be there quite yet and possibly not yet throughout the duration of the year. But the important fact to hold on to is that we will get there. But an unhealthy comparison, for example, at this time, I was comparing, I was comparing myself, having gone through several operations, um, I had still been stuck in that mode that I was comparing myself against somebody who was fit, well and healthy, had been quite blessed with luck in, in opportunities which they'd been in, being in the right place at the right time. And this particular person would be very honest to say that as well. And, and I know that they appreciate that too. So it's not me kind of pick, picking fault or flaw. But at that time, I couldn't see that. I couldn't see that I was comparing myself to somebody who was fit, well and healthy at the time. They didn't have any health issues. They didn't have any issues, thankfully, at all. So for them, it was very, very different. So they could go on and do things. It's in terms like as well, when I left school, because I quite often speak to my brother about um, my younger nieces and nephews, my family, that when they leave school and they're at that age at the moment where they're not quite thinking about it, but they're starting to throughout school is starting to get them prepared. So they're just approaching into their teen, uh, early teenage years, I would say. So it is something which I've spoken about openly with my brothers and my family that actually, do you know, I'm actually quite worried that the state of our society, it was hard enough when I left school, which was in the middle of a recession um, back in 2009. And we had opportunities and we could still go on and fulfill and there were services which would help you look at your career and help you which avenue you wanted to go in. And there was apprenticeships and things. Um, now, where I live in, in this part of the world, 
you rarely hear that. And there are services being withdrawn. I don't believe there is a service now to be able to support young people in helping them uh, sort of as a careers advice. I think that falls very much on the final years of school because the service, which I can recall, um, is, is no longer there now. And you never hear sort of job openings for people starting out in their career and apprenticeships and things. And if anything, our town centre, our local town centre and local businesses seems to be more reduced and reduced and reduced year upon year. It's even like Christmas just gone. Go back 10, 15 years ago for what we had available to do local Christmas shopping and activities and things is completely different now. Having said that, there are benefits. Of course, there's loads more happening online. There's loads more of that. But however, that topic doesn't necessarily instill confidence that there is that opportunity out there for young people. So in terms of comparison, when I left school, I can't now do a comparison that actually, do you know what, my nieces and nephews, when they, they leave school, they're gonna have the same. So I'd hate for them to compare what I've done to their life. So as, a, as that kind of reaching out, that actually it's really bad for us to compare against somebody else's different situation or to compare people's lives to ours in terms of different health issues and ailments people have gone through, people have had different experiences, people have been uh, different parts of the country, even as a, as a contributing factor as well, and society as a whole too. And actually, as I talk about me comparing and warning other people to just safeguard yourself from comparing yourself to other people's lives in comparisons in terms of striving and wanting to achieve something and wanting to be and gain that success. Actually, I worry about my niece and nephew with their comparisons. And you know, what? actually, even younger people, I would hate somebody to compare what I have done. I'll be very open and honest. The problems I've had, I've not let it stop me. But however, that was through the blessing of the help of my incredible parents, my dear mum and dad, who are absolutely best friends to me. They really did support me financially throughout my career and helping me get through the health problems, but as well as being able to help me continue studying from home, which of course very often is a much more of a higher cost. And of course that comes with the bearing of is it financially feasible for people to do that? So then again, I would hate somebody to make a comparison to my situation when I'm truly, truly grateful and thankful that I got that opportunity to do that. And I know a lot of people wouldn't have that opportunity. So having discussed those three very different comparisons, you could say, I hope that really instills that actually comparing should not be something we should do because we should we should take note of people's success and we should be always respectful, but we should always try to concentrate on that we are individuals. And yes, even though we all get the same opportunity in life to write our book as we lead it, there are influencing factors. And of course, yes, we can we can install the confidence in young people and ourselves to go on and do, and we can do absolutely anything we want in this world through hard work, dedication, and really kind of keep pushing yourself, keep going. And it's when you get those knockbacks, remembering that it's not how you fall down, it's how you get back up. And you really do keep going because it's not easy. Comparison is just kind of moving this along now, are very detrimental to your mental health and well-being. For example, for the years I would say from my mid-twenties when I, so probably a little bit earlier than that, when I was uh, becoming unwell, with a few things, I had a number of operations and I still live with those effects now. It never ever stops me. Um, it, it spurs me on, but I'm also very realistic that my strength comes from the connections of my mum and dad, my dear Nan, and my faith. My faith has been a huge guidance throughout my life, um, my later teen years and my, my 20s, um, right from when I, uh, even growing stronger when I lost my nan, to right now. And that leads me through many, many things. But I know if somebody hasn't got that, then of course that's a comparison which we can't draw upon. I know that some people haven't got parents as their support network. I know if we're talking about people who are much older or who are much younger, and if they haven't got their family around them, again, that's not a comparison which we can make. So it really is important that actually to remember that and I always say this, whenever you pass somebody on the street or whenever you chat with somebody, one of the worst things in the world I think that you can actually do is brag about what you're doing is a very, very different thing to talking about what you are doing. Having a conversation with somebody and talking about what you are doing and what you hope to do is much more nicer than somebody stood in a room bragging. And, and to illustrate this one, 
a little bit more clearer, holidays, for example. Let's be honest, in today's world with an ever-growing cost of living crisis across the world, there are just ways of life getting more and more expensive. Some people, of course, can afford holidays and lavish items and lavish goods. Some people can't. But do you know what? They should never feel that they have to express that and open up and talk about that. Again, never build on those comparisons. You have to have walked in somebody's shoes to be able to comment, I always say. Now, stood in a room, I always, I always think that actually if someone's telling you, and I've had a recent conversation actually, um, about somebody's holiday plans, and straight off the bounce, they threw out three very lavish holidays. Through health problems, and unfortunately I'm not quite ready to talk about it yet on my channel, but that's not on the cards for me to be going away probably for the next couple of months. Hopefully it is, but it's not right now. And in fact, it's not something I'm even concentrating on, even contemplating. Um, but having said that, I really did think that actually, do you know what? You don't know what I'm going through. And this person was very clearly bragging. Um, and I thought, do you know what? You don't actually know in my circumstances that I might actually going be going through a financial crisis of my own. I may be going through, which I am, health issues in the background. I may not even want to. And I may not even want to open up in conversation to be able to share that with you for a whole host of all different reasons. But yet this person who I had the conversation with, and I respect them and they're a very, very uh, dear friend to me, but they can go and go and go in conversation. And sometimes I feel if other people were in the room with us, that would not be nice. Number one, I often don't think it's healthy. I have raised it to them before, but unfortunately, it's not really kind of, we've not got through yet, but if it carries on, it will be something which I will be having to mention again. But it just installs to me that actually, do you know what? Never kind of be in a situation. And do you know what? If you're going through a great time and yeah, you've been lucky or perhaps you worked really damn hard and there's incredible things happening for you. Fantastic. Well done. But even still, sometimes just be a little bit careful about the people in the room, because do you know what? In seconds, we draw a comparison. In seconds, somebody can be going through absolutely hell in their life and they can draw a comparison to somebody. But behind that smile, behind that slick back hair or whatever, that smart suit or that lady who is proud as punch talking about the summer holiday she's got going on in a few weeks time or in a few months time, rather, you don't know what they're going through or you don't know what they've gone through to get there equally the same of nobody knows what you're going through right now. So comparisons can be dangerous, my friends. So never ever compare because they can be detrimental. They can be detrimental to your success. And at the end of the day, it really just does depend on what we want in life, how we can examine and how we kind of capture and what success means to us. Because for a lot of people, success will mean, for example, a certain amount of money in the bank. It will mean a small family, beautiful home, husband or wife, or success will mean a certain job title. So how can you, in your situation, compare to what success is or somebody looks successful, which is a completely different topic. We're going to be covering that on the channel soon, but never draw comparisons. And if you're down in the dumps and you're feeling down, or if you're unwell at the moment, you're going through something in life, God bless you, stay strong, you will get through this, storms past, my friend, but just never compare. You are amazing, you are one, there is only one of you in this world, so you will get through this, and your situation is unique to you. So comparisons, they're for, for clothes, for cost, for reviewing holidays, not for people's lives. So comparisons are dangerous, take great care. I really hope that I've been able to resonate or possibly even help you with something. So God bless, and if you do have any questions at all, or if you just want to chat or comment about this, then please leave them down below on my channel and I will do my utmost best to get back to you as quick as I can. So remember, if you're going through something at the moment, don't compare because you'll get through this and the person next to you is going through something completely different. So never ever compare. And a lasting thought, just because somebody got to where you want to be at, say, for example, 25, but yet you still haven't got there by 40, does not mean a damn thing at all. So please don't do that to yourself because it is a really nasty, vicious circle. You make yourself feel bad. You affect anything going on in your life, anything in your mental health, your well-being. Physical ailments can be exacerbated. It's just not a nice territory to go there. So please love yourself, take care of yourself and throw comparisons out of your head. God bless. Until next time, I will be seeing you then. Bye for now.